Hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to AWS This Week. AWS rolled out some awesome upgrades and announcements this week, including AWS beefs up CloudWatch throughput. AWS Private 5G is now generally available. EventBridge adds webhooks for GitHub, Stripe, and Twilio. And there's a new supply chain competency for AWS partners. I'm David Blocker, and this is AWS This Week. This week, AWS announced some exciting news for anyone who uses CloudWatch custom metrics. AWS raised the ceiling on how frequently you can send metrics to CloudWatch, and not by a little, but by a lot. Customers use CloudWatch custom metrics to capture and analyze application insights. With the ever-increasing complexity of new applications, some customers are capturing metrics by the hundreds. So, AWS decided to beef up the throughput on CloudWatch by 150 times. You can now send 50 times as many metrics in a single call with a three times faster default call rate. They also tripled the number of dimensions you can include in a single metric. So if you're keeping track, that's up to 450 times as much data over time. This will allow a lot more flexibility for users to batch their custom metrics and ultimately make fewer API calls, saving bandwidth and most importantly, saving money. AWS also announced the public availability of AWS Private 5G. I doubt that many of us need our own private mobile network, but where AWS sees demand, you can be sure a managed service is not far around the corner. Private 5G is intended for enterprises who want to set up their own private and secure mobile network locally within a facility. This can be used to connect cell phones as well as other IoT devices to a secure, low latency network with extremely robust security and access control. Despite the overall complexity of setting up a private 5G network from scratch, AWS has streamlined the process considerably. You simply sign up in the AWS console, request the number of devices you would like to connect, and then they will literally mail you a mini plug-in cell radio unit and the SIM cards needed to connect to it. Now, this might not be the most practical service for most AWS users, but it is interesting to see where AWS might go with the future of managed services. Great news for anyone interested in serverless or event-driven architecture. Amazon EventBridge now supports receiving events directly from GitHub, Stripe, and Twilio using webhook quick starts. This will make it easier than ever to trigger actions in your AWS account based on events that occur in your GitHub, Stripe, or Twilio ecosystems. With quick start webhooks, you can create HTTP endpoints in a matter of a few clicks, and then they will automatically be configured to meet the best security practices of these third-party platforms. Then all you have to do is configure your third-party account to send events to these new endpoints, and you can use EventBridge to trigger basically any action you can imagine in your AWS account. AWS also just rolled out a new competency for AWS partners, the supply chain competency. Competencies are kind of like certifications for companies that are part of the AWS partner network. If an AWS partner company can meet a certain number of certifications and prove that it has the relevant industry experience, they can achieve this competency. This means that it will be easier than ever for AWS customers to find AWS experts in the supply chain industry. Even if you're not in the supply chain industry, it's always interesting to keep an eye on the industries that AWS is focused on. That's all for this week. Keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus. Take care of each other, and I look forward to seeing you soon.